Bond, MI6 has been contacted by Alexander Mayhew, Raphael Drake's chief of Asian operations. Mayhew fears that Drake intends to kill him, holding him responsible for their little setback in Austria. In exchange for our protection, Mayhew will deliver evidence exposing Drake's master plan, codenamed Nightfire, a scheme that Mayhew insists threatens global security. The name's Bond. James Bond. Mayhew's son is expecting you. Mayhew has one demand. To be brought in by James Bond himself. Our informant awaits you at his Japanese estate. Good luck, 007. Good evening, 007. A redesigned piece of missile guidance hardware intended for the orbiting US space weapons platform has been stolen. NATO has advised that recovery is critical. Should an unfriendly power reverse engineer this device, the platform's global defense capabilities would be severely compromised. Recent intelligence implicates Raphael Drake in the theft. Hard to believe, as Drake is a respected green industrialist, whose Phoenix International dismantles obsolete atomic reactors and decommissions nuclear arsenals. An allied agent planted in Drake's organization reports that Alexander Mayhew, a British expatriate who heads Phoenix's Japanese branch, is en route to Drake's castle in Austria. The stolen guidance device will change hands tonight during a formal gathering at the castle. Drake's security teams are hardened men. As a double O agent, you may have to answer aggression with aggression. Good luck, Bond. Alex's code key and password should get you into the Phoenix mainframe, but they'll have the whole building locked down by now. Anything can be penetrated with the proper tools. While you've been hard at work, 007, so has Q Branch. You will find several useful items have been added to your inventory. Tranquilizer darts for inconveniently placed guards, silent and non-lethal. A decryptor to hack computers, keypads, elevator controls, etc., etc., and finally, the Q worm. Q? There's a lady present. Plug this virus into one of the computer terminals, and the worm allows MI6 to monitor their systems. Please try to return these tools in usable condition, but I shan't hold my breath. Q out. James, we need to hurry. The guards change shifts in 30 minutes. We've decrypted the Nightfire files you secured last night, 007. They contain rather troubling data concerning a shutdown nuclear power plant not far from Tokyo. Phoenix Corporation has been contracted to cleanse the plant of radioactive material. We now suspect that massive amounts of construction have been secretly carried out inside the towers. Your mission is to infiltrate the plant and find out what Drake is hiding. As always, 007, best of luck. Of course, dismantling a nuclear reactor is an incredibly delicate operation. And dangerous as well, yes? That is why we've invested in robot technology, like those forklifts. Insanely expensive. But keeping our people safe is important. And when our work is done, the beaches here will be clean enough for our children to swim and their grandfathers to fish. Thank you, Mr. Drake. I appreciate the exclusive interview. And so do I. Interview is over, Mr. Rook. All snipers back in position. I 
I'd ask you to join us, Mr. Bond, but why waste caviar on a man who won't live long enough to enjoy it? Give mine to Kiko. She's earned it. <laughs> Don't take it personally. Women have an advantage, you see. They can blind us with love, but that's why we have other eyes to watch them. Like the hidden camera in the stairwell leading to the helipad. I don't understand, Raphael. Please, don't insult me further. It's a pity. I fell quite hard for you. And now it's time you did the same for me. Goodbye, Dominique. Use the helipad. And take care of the body. No! It's futile, Mr. Bond. You've seen too much of my operation to live. But I wanted you to enjoy this moment first. spot anything from the air that looked like a command center, James. Well, one thing we know about Drake, nothing's as it seems on the surface. Looks abandoned. All the more reason to investigate. No reception committee. The system's active. We need a comm link. See if you can patch in. Why do I have the feeling we're about to split up again? This shaft's drawing air, and I have a good idea why. Inform MI6 of our location. I'll be in touch, Allura. James, I'm still patched into Drake's comm system. I've intercepted enough radio chatter to learn that Drake's combat troops have overtaken the defense platform. Some of the original crew might still be alive, but I can't confirm that. I can tell you that Drake's deployed a laser defense net, which draws power from the platform's core. Rather enjoyed your company, James. Do be careful. Call out. The code key you found in my safe will lead you to the Nightfire Evidence, the Phoenix Building in Tokyo. Tokyo? You'll need the password to the mainframe. It's Afterburn. I thought the evidence was here, may you? I did a little extra insurance policy to keep me alive. A lot of good it did me here. <laughs> I was pinned down. Alex. I promise you, Drake will pay. Kiko, you're not safe here. Come with me. I thought you'd never ask. Nice landing, James. Why do you always seem to end up on top? Uh, a lower center of gravity? Sorry to drop in like this, but would you ladies mind giving me a ride? Kiko, where have you been? Trying to catch up with you. Get up with me. Come on. Mm. 
You must be exhausted, James. What would you say to a little nap? Need a lift, Mr. Bond? Alora McCall, Australian Intelligence. On loan to MI6. has been monitoring the tower security systems through the worm you planted. They saw you in a bit of a spot, so here I am. Well, you're a talkative one, aren't you? Sorry. It's been a difficult evening, Miss McCall. I lost a friend. Shaken, not stirred. Or is it stirred, not shaken? Hmm. Definitely stirred. Astronomers from around the globe are reporting unexpected meteor showers. Well done, 007. Then I'm sure the world won't mind my taking a few days off. We'll let the autopilot be our designated driver. Oh, James.
use the helipad and take care of the body. But you look like you needed the rest. I don't recall getting much rest at all, James. We're in closer to the extraction point. We'll meet you there. Do hurry. You did well at Drake's training facility 007. We agree that the rockets to launch these astronauts into space are most likely harbored at Drake's missile disassembly works in the South Pacific. Although UN inspectors have given the island their seal of approval, perhaps your unofficial visit will reveal more. Agent McCall will provide backup. The Vanquish should provide the most discreet approach to Drake's island. Agent McCall, if you please. We're driving there? Precisely. <laughs> Ignore that sinking feeling, Agent McCall. Everything is under control. There's never valet parking when you need it most. a softer landing next time. I'm counting on it, Allura. Come on. Still catch it. By the way, who are you? The name's Bond. James Bond.
Happy New Year indeed, Dominique. That one's a nasty bit of business, isn't it? Perfect. You drive, I'll shoot. Hurry, Zoe. We haven't much time. my rendezvous point. Working for over 20 months, the team at EA Games developed James Bond 007 Nightfire. Three core international teams in the United States, England and Canada, programmers, writers, artists, designers and animators, collaborated to create an unparalleled James Bond experience. Adding to the fantasy, Agent 007 looks and feels just like the film star himself, Pierce Brosnan. Thanks in part to a laser scanning process that captured the features of his face, using over a quarter of a million data points, Brosnan's persona as 007 brings the Bond film star into the hands of game players. When you see Pierce Brosnan in the game, you see Pierce Brosnan. He's the epitome of James Bond, debonair, suave, charismatic, uh, came out great. And I think he brings a certain authenticity and, and personality to the character just like he does in the film. So when you see him wink or raise his eyebrow, um, you're definitely seeing the real McCoy. Fast cars are another part of the James Bond equation. The Aston Martin V12 Vanquish. The Vanquish, also featured in this year's Bond film, Die Another Day, sports a six liter V12 engine with a Formula One style transmission. It can go from zero to 60 in under five seconds and reach speeds in excess of 190 miles per hour. To bring this amazing vehicle into the game, the design team at EA worked with Aston Martin to capture all of the exact specs and performance attributes of the car, then created a 3D mesh in the digital realm. From fast cars to beautiful women and exotic locations, James Bond 007 Nightfire is packed with all the elements that make it classic James Bond, allowing the player to live out the fantasy of the world's best secret agent. <laughs>